back. It's been a little while. The last time we uploaded was when? New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. And if you've watched our PCB video, if you haven't, pause this one right now and go check it out. Hmm. We were at Panama City Beach and it was pretty foggy, right? It was very foggy. And it, was it was actually very foggy. kind of, yeah, it was yeah. humid. Yeah. A little cold. Even though it was in the 68 degree weather, it was, yeah. still felt a little cold. It would have been a little bit more palatable uh, if I wasn't sick. But that fog got to my lungs. I had a lot of lung congestion. I was sick. I was taking a lot of medication. Um, we got back from Panama City Beach and you got sick. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, my parents got <laughs> sick. I think everybody got sick. I think everyone's still getting sick, yeah. right? Long story short, we got back. We're a little bit tired. We got back into the ball game. We got back to work. She got sick. She was in bed. It wasn't, I was still like, fin well, I'm st I'm getting better now. I'm still trying to get over it, but yeah, feeling, feeling better now. I feel like today my voice is, is good enough. It's not so trashed that I can actually make a video. It's been very hard for me to talk because my voice just really, really got messed up from being sick. Mm -hmm. um, so it hit us pretty hard. And, uh, but hey, here we are, and we've been really, really wanting to make a video. We've been, again, we're supposed to be making three a week. That's our goal this year. Just like, the energy has not been there. Yeah, the, sickness. the energy hasn't been there, and, and I'd rather just wait a few days or wait till we feel a little bit better. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to fake it till we make it kind of thing, and, and I feel like... If, if you're sick, you just need to take some time off and, and, and rest anyways. Mm -hmm. um, what we have done is we've been very productive with the house. So we want to kind of take this moment to sort of sit here and, and talk with you guys. It's been a little while and tell you where we're at. Um, we were sick and was it this last weekend that we did it? Mm -hmm. So Saturday, we went to town. Uh, we went to town with going through our clothes a few, what, a couple more times? Mm -hmm. We finally got them done, right? We finally got the clothes done in terms of donation and in terms of keeping what we're actually going to keep. Yeah. We got rid of a ton of clothes. A lot. It's taken multiple waves of going through clothes and sorting and organizing and deciding and donating and coming back and thinning it out until... Yeah, exactly, right? Mm -hmm. All right. We, we even got so far as we actually took a lot of our clothes that we don't wear uh, all the time. We took them over to my parents' house and we put them in the closet in the room we're going to be staying at. So we got that secured. Um, so the clothes are done. It's done. The shoes are done. We cleared out all the, the drawers. Yes, all the drawers. We're getting ready to post the bedroom set. Um, we're going to sell that. Uh, we got to take a picture of this dining room table and chairs, all the Christmas stuff if you can see right behind us which was there not so long ago, is all there. gone. Um, so we've decluttered, we've gone through, we've basically been cleaning house. Mm -hmm. I went to town on the garage. Yeah. And I, we, we took away a ton of stuff. Um, so that's done for the most part for right now. Um, we took over the pressure washer. We took the barbecue over. Mm -hmm. So we just made a little haul to take some things over. Um, we have a realtor coming over. Tomorrow. tomorrow tomorrow at what three o'clock three o'clock three o'clock so we're gonna talk to him it's kind of an interesting thing he showed up on my doorstep one day and it was actually during the week while we were sort of talking about getting a realtor and things like this and we heard a knock at the door and i answered it and here's mr realtor mm -hmm. and come to find out you want to talk about a small world really small world. He's from Oakland, California originally, which was a little bit north of where I'm from mm -hmm. originally, Newark, California. So he was just a, a, a stone throws <laughs> uh, distance from me uh, in the, on the East Bay. And so we got to talk and we made a little bit of a connection. He's been here for a while. I believe he was what? Military, right? Yeah. I think military brought him over. He's retired, but he's a realtor now. And he had all the numbers on all these homes around here. Um, he seemed like a really down-to-earth, legit person, so I made a connection with him. And just the other day, we talked about coming back from uh, PCB. We talked about, okay, now it's the beginning of the year. It's time to, to call that realtor. Mm -hmm. And we kept his information, and I was driving home one day from work, which I think was, what, Friday? I think so. See, so a Thursday or Friday, and I'm driving home. And my phone rings, and I don't recognize the number, but I answered. I usually don't answer the phone. I usually let it go to voicemail if I don't you know, see a caller ID. 
But I answered it, and I said, hey, it's Greg. And he said, hey, it's me, Rudy. The, the, and I said, no, no, no. I said, I know who you are. I said, I was just thinking about you literally the last day or two and was going to give you a call. Uh, let's, let's, let's get together. Let's do this. So we gave him the principal uh, of what's owed on the house, right? Mm -hmm. uh, current mortgage payments and all these different things. So he's going to compute the payoff and all these different things. So long story short, again, we're going to meet him tomorrow at 3 o'clock. We're getting this thing going. We're really trying to wrap up all the loose ends in the house now. We've gone through, I'd say, the majority of everything. Mm -hmm. Just a little mm -hmm. knickknacks here and there. Yeah, a few dishes, a few things here and there. So we're almost to that point where we're ready to make that move. Mm -hmm. uh, we're a little bit behind schedule. We really wanted to kind of do it the first week of January. Uh, but again, we did a little last minute getaway, mm -hmm. which was really, really nice. Uh, we used some of our Christmas money. Uh, that was given to us to help make that possible. So, of course, we're going to go and make that happen. <laughs> uh, Lady B stayed back. She stayed with my oh, parents man. because of the, the fireworks. It was forecasted to rain all weekend. And we we didn't want to bring her out in that kind of weather. And we were not able to find a place that allowed dogs anyway. So mm. she got to have a play date all weekend long with the other two dogs at my parents' house. So she had fun. We had fun. She'll go um, next time. Here we are. The house is almost completely gone through. Uh, we're getting better. Do you feel better today? I feel way better today. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting my voice back almost. Um, some of the guys are still telling me, hey, you know, you still sound like you're sick. I'm like, well, I'm, you know, it's the aftermath of being sick, but I feel better inside. Yeah, you know? it's time of the year. Yeah, so uh, that's where we're at. And we're gonna meet the realtor tomorrow and we're gonna put some things online to sell these bigger items the last items that we're gonna sell and uh we'll be out of here sooner than later we're gonna get a little storage a little storage space yeah. to go ahead and store our sentimental items or things that we will definitely use in the van this is a 10-year goal a 10-year process this is not something overnight mm -hmm. and so we're not going to be storing things for 10 years so again like we said in some previous videos uh i think it was the video where we said we're selling it all for the beach uh, if you haven't yeah. seen it, check it out because we give you a lot of good steps and uh, go-to ideas and concepts to kind of wrap your head around moving or, or making a major lifestyle change mm -hmm. that will challenge you uh, and help you to do what we're doing. Um, so that, that's the whole idea of us doing this YouTube video now. A lot of these van lifer people, are, are they're doing it once they get into their rig. And I thought, well, why not? Why not do it as we approach van life? Because there's a lot of people that are thinking about number one, mm -hmm. right? There's a lot of you that are wondering, well, well what do you do? How, how do you go about it? These different things. Um, uh, you see, we're taking our time, but we're being diligent. We have goals. We have a plan. Um, again, go back and watch that video. Y'all need to check it out. And while you're at it, check out our, uh, uh, we're going to plug our own videos here. Check out our uh, our on-the-fly Instapot go-to recipes. We've got two more to go. That's right. We're, we did a, we're doing a series of five. We've got two more to go. We have not forgotten. And I think we're going to go ahead and try to film both of those this weekend. Hopefully. Yeah. And, we, we, do, and we, you know, we do notice something. I noticed that we're not getting as many views on the food videos as we are the other videos. Are you guys not hungry? Hmm. <laughs> All I'm saying is... Y'all need to check out the last video, which was three of five. If you like Cajun cooking. That was good. Yeah. I'm not going to even tell you what it is. Don't even tell them what it is. All right. You just need to click the play button and go for a ride. And I guarantee you'll laugh. I guarantee it's fun. And I guarantee if you like seafood or Cajun cooking, it's going to make you real, real hungry. No <laughs> lie? No lie. No lie. I think it was our best video yet on the cooking one. But uh, we're going to do a simple recipe for the fourth video. And the fifth one, I think we'll do a little bit more of a robust recipe. Something a little bit more involved. But again, the idea behind these videos on the on the, the, on the the fly, uh, Instapot cooking, five go-to recipes, is that if you're in van life already, uh, what's convenient, what's easy, what's fast, what tastes good. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to come up with five go-to recipes that we can keep with us and put that in, in our... Uh, in our little pocket, if you will, of a, of a cookbook right. uh, during van life and, and just things that we can eat, you know, time to time. And we want to build that, of course. And maybe eventually we could even create a book or even like a pamphlet or something that we can give y'all. 
of different Instant Pot recipes that we, we will be learning over time. And, and just kind of like a flip card. We'll have like chicken, we'll have like uh, vegan, we'll have like red meat, we'll have seafood, we'll did have... You, wait, did yeah, you say vegan? Vegan, sure, why not, right? In other words, it's like having vegetarian pizza. It just has no meat on it. It's I a like good pizza. Meat. I like meat too, but a, 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 a vegetarian pizza is good every once in a while. Cheese pizza, yeah, sure. Now, now tell me real quickly that, that now you like a margarita pizza, right? I do. Now, what is a margarita pizza? Doesn't it have ham? Okay. Tell me what a margarita pizza Cheese, is. Cheese. Tomato, tomato. Basil. Queso. Some yeah. salt. I guess you could call um, it a little bit vegan. I think it's right. <laughs> I, mean, I thought it had it. That's what we're up to. That's where we've been. Here's where we are. That's where we're going. Um, so we're going to try to get these three videos up before the weekend's over because we're trying to achieve that in a week, right? We want to stick to our goals. And then next week, we're going to jump off into three more videos. Um, we got to start playing some videos. Yeah, it's going to get interesting when it's gonna get we move out of here. I think so. Where we'll be um, recording. We've been so busy with trying to clean this house. It's very hard to get your mind around all this stuff that we got in a short period of time while we were sick. And I honestly just didn't want to pick up a camera and try to vlog while I was doing it. Yeah. So I apologize, everyone, but we've been sick. Um, but we're getting our we're, we're getting it done. And uh, I want to at least give these guys at least one video a week that's a vlog style to kind of give them an update of where we're at, where we're going, what we've accomplished. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to be accountable in that sense. It helps keep us on point, too. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll, we'll do that next time. We'll pick up this camera next week um, while we're doing some things here and there. And you guys can ask us questions and put them down there in the comments. Uh, and ask all the questions you want. And we'll try to give you all the answers that we can give you in a timely manner. Um, if there ever comes a time where we're just getting so busy and so crazy and so hectic and we got a gazillion different people, we probably won't be able to answer all those comments, but, but I will... I will do my due diligence uh, sincerely to, to answer your comments, or my wife will answer the comments. Maybe that'll be her job. That'll be her future YouTube job. I can do that, because I get a lot of people asking me, you know, like at work, mm -hmm. hey, how's van life? What is going to happen? <laughs> well, you need to follow the YouTube channel yeah, so right. that you can know. One thing that we did that we put or included in the PCB uh, video we did last while we were out there was we made an Instagram account. And that's going to serve and help complement our YouTube videos and help you all follow us in between these videos. Um, those are going to, that's going to be the place where we, we post more of a photography type of a selfie pic. Or we're going to go out to eat. I'm not always going to carry the camera around, but on Instagram, it's easier for us to just click with our iPhone and we can post it. We posted a bunch of photos from PCB, go check them out. Uh, again, you can find us at vanlife underscore PCB bound for the Instagram account. Um, share that with others, yeah. you can follow us. And we also have our Patreon uh, at patreon.com. You can find us there uh, under uh, the search and you can just type in the, the letters PCB and then space. Uh, and then bound b-o-u-n-d just like here on youtube so pcb bound on youtube pcb bound on patreon we're looking for patrons we obviously are looking for help we need to get camera gear um we we're going to obviously save as much as we can we're just trying to ramp this thing up we're looking for people to come on board and support us sincerely and genuinely um and so we're not going to be too proud to not ask for help we're asking for your help. We're asking for you to be our patron. If it's $5 a month, it's like buying us a coffee. Buy us a Starbucks. Buy us each a Starbucks a month. Um, five bucks and five bucks. There you go, $10 a month. Uh, <laughs> I think I have a $5 one on there, maybe a $10 one. Go check them out. There's, I think there's five different tiers I created. Um, and each tier comes with a certain reward, if you will, a certain um, inside that, that the YouTuber people aren't going to get. And we want to reward you for, for being our patrons. We want to give you the inside scoop on different things, things that we're not going to post on YouTube. So it's going it, to, it's a win-win. You're helping us and, and we're going to give you stuff that others won't get. Um, it just allows you all who, who will be our patrons in the future 
or who are currently our patrons, if you're watching this video in the near future and we have patrons, to, to be closer to us, to have more intimate access to our lives. Mm -hmm. We wanna open up and be a little bit more vulnerable to those people who are a little bit more serious um, on supporting us. Right. It's like having a close friend. We're gonna open up a little bit more. We feel like if people are giving to us and, and they're helping us along the way, we feel like that you're our friends because why would you just give money to give money? So if you're giving us money and help and support us, then we feel like that, that you're being friendly towards us. And so we want to reciprocate and, and, and get a little bit closer to you all and allow you guys to, uh, to know us a little bit more. And so that's the idea behind patron.com. Uh, and again, you can find us there at PCB Bound. Go check it out. Share it. Let other people know. Um, what else? What else are we doing? Um, hopefully soon we'll be going to visit, uh, if not one of these RV, uh, shows, we'll go <coughs> to a dealership or an RV dealership so we can start looking at, you know, different types of rigs. And yeah, stuff. we've done that and we've, we've mentioned that in the past too. We've gone to check out the road treks in, um, Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. We saw the, the Coachman Gallery in Memphis. We, uh, have gone to Huntsville, Alabama to check out a couple different um, brands here and there, but we definitely want to um, do that a little bit more. And um, yeah. Yeah, we, you know, we've gone in the past, but yeah. at that point we weren't recording. So this time no. we want to take you guys along. Yeah, for... yeah. So we definitely, we would definitely want to, you know, we'll have more videos like that, of course. Um, just a lot of everything, to be honest. The whole, the whole kit and caboodle, the whole nine yards mm -hmm. and more. Um, Again, this is going to help people who are considering van life and seeing what it's like and seeing us go through the process and the day we get our keys, the day we turn it on, the day we move our it's stuff in, into amazing. the van, right? The the first day we slept in it. I mean, it, it's go, it's getting exciting. Mm -hmm. Just the fact that we're getting ready to sell this house, the fact that we're meeting a realtor tomorrow is exciting. Yeah. Um, given the fact that, again, we made this decision a little bit past the beginning of last, last year, year ago, so yeah. so this has almost been a year now um, of a process for us, and so we're really seeing things come to fruition now in terms of this big, major, major phase of a uh, van life, uh, van life being inclusive of the approach to getting a rig and getting into a rig, mm -hmm. and that's what we're here to offer you all. And so we really hope you guys tune in. Please share our videos. Um, the more likes we get, I believe, the more we get recommended out in the YouTube space, I think, from what I'm understanding. Uh, please subscribe to us. That helps us as well, too. And we're not going to lie. We, we want to monetize. We want to generate some type of positive income here, whether it be through Patreon.com uh, or whether it be through monetization of, of YouTube videos. Um, we definitely want to become affiliates of different products, maybe like Instapot or different things we use eventually in van life. We, we want to diversify as much as possible um, because we'll need all the help we get. The, the idea here is this. Again, go back and check out our videos, but, but let me give it to you here in a nutshell. We're trying to maximize our income, minimize the outgo, if you will, right? So we wanna, we wanna kinda save as much as we can and spend as very little as possible. Right. And the idea is we wanna pay off all of our debts, obviously. We wanna pay them all off, become debt free, if you will, and continue to save and just chunk away the cash, chunk away the money, again, to save up to buy a future home uh, that we can go be at and live at in the future and retire. Uh, and, and that for us is at PCB. That's that's gonna be our beach home. It's a 10 year plan. It's a 10 year plan to get through the uh, paying off of debts in the first couple of years and then saving up as much cash, if you will, to to get into a home um, as much as possible. So we're not paying a, a huge amount of interest. This is all a creative and alternative way to approach retirement in the future mm -hmm. where we we change our lifestyle and we take on van life again as our go-to tool to to do this to achieve this and and that that's our heart's desire that's what we're going to do but it's not just hey let's get in a rig and let's let's maximize our savings it's more than that <clears throat> 
getting into an, a rig it, it, for us is going to be an adventure. We like to travel. We love to go on day trips. Now, we're not globe setters. We're not jet setters. We're not rich by any means. Uh, you know, we're not going to the Cayman Islands. We're not going to Hawaii. We're not going to Paris, France. But we like to go to Panama City Beach, and we like to drive around the different states, California, and we like to go visit places. We like to go see things. So for us to be able to take our home, if you will, and just drive it to where we want to go, and we're there... And we don't have to pay for a hotel or we've right. got our dogs with us. We don't got to worry about a, a pet-friendly hotel room. I think that's pretty cool. I think it's a win-win. So we're not only saving, we're not, well, we're having a, a, a 10-year adventure is what we're doing. Um, so for us, it's exciting. And the chances that we get to see things different places, yeah, yeah. you know, and be able to record them and, and share with you guys, yeah. that's just like even a plus. Yeah, yeah. So we want to take you along with us while we're doing this and being in a van being in this class b van is going to in a kind of a weird way kind of force us to sort of hey where are we going to go sleep tonight or right. uh, it's friday night we're off work hey you know what let's uh let's drive over there to uh the alabama border or something or let's go drive to that state park uh three hours away oh yeah monte sano yeah or yeah that they got some cool cabins over there we want to go check that out let's go to gallenberg Hey, let's go to uh, St. Louis, Missouri, right. and go go to the free zoo in St. Louis. If you didn't know, St. Louis Zoo is it's free. Free, right there. And it's a very good zoo. Too. It's a very big zoo. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very very cool. So there's so much that we can do, and it's going to allow us to be a little bit more relaxed on our trips. We can just pull off and take a 10 minute nap. Um, we don't got to worry about getting to the hotel and checking in at a certain time. Nope. We could sort of say more local to that venue that we're, we're, we're checking out that day. There's so much more that we're going to be able to do with the Class B van. Yeah, it's, you know? it's going to be a whole new outlook on weekends. Yeah. Weekends yeah. is going to be totally it, like... It's going to be pretty awesome. cool. Yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. So <laughs> we're, we're excited about this. We want you all to come along. We want you to share this. Again, subscribing to us is going to help us. Mm -hmm. uh, viewing the full video is going to help us. Talking about our videos is going to help us. Sharing the video on social media is going to help us. Hitting the like, but everything you do is going to help all free. us. That is all free. And it's all free. Liking, subscribing, <laughs> commenting. That's all now free. Now we know not everybody likes everybody in the world. <laughs> I think we're pretty personable people. and We're pretty easygoing and down-to-earth people. So hopefully we can engender a lot of different types of people and reach a big audience, of course. Um, and... Yeah, so that's where we're at. And I think that's just too cool. I mean, it's just too neat to... You know, it, it's like a, it's like Facebook, but in motion, mm -hmm. you know, you everyone likes social media and everyone spends, you know what I heard on the radio the other day going to work? Mm -hmm. I heard that people spend the amount of time that people spend on Facebook in one month. I think it was one month or maybe it was a year. They can read 200 books yield to having read 200 books. Wow. That's a tremendous amount of time on social media. Um, Facebook. Facebook is cool, and we know statistically there's more people on Facebook in this pla on this planet, mm -hmm. on planet Earth, than any other social media platform. But with YouTube, you get to come along with us and see things real time, exactly. if you will. Exactly. And Instagram, don't forget about Instagram. Yeah, and we still yeah. could do lives. We, We're and, gonna and we, live soon. We will do lives eventually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we maybe will. when we have the rig. We'll do well, lives. we could do lives Who knows? when we go on a little, a little um, RV show. Live. RV show, or we could do a live when we're like, I don't know, just somewhere, maybe at the zoo. Mm -hmm. Well, we gotta have good signal, right, for for being live. And, we'll we'll and figure all this out. It's YouTube live, not Facebook live. No, 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 no. We're everything's yeah. about YouTube. Mm -hmm. We want to stick with YouTube, and we want to stick with Instagram. Mm -hmm. Those are our two platforms for you all to come along with us. Um, being PCB bound that we are and, and van life that we, we are approaching that we'll be doing. Mm -hmm. And um, there it is. So I think we've been talking a whole lot. Yeah. But we just want to sit down and just have a little chit chat with you all and sort of tell you where we've been, why we haven't been uploading, but what we're going to be doing very soon. Mm -hmm. I think the sickness stuff is kind of behind us and we're going to come out this gate. We're going to come out this gate like a horse. You're... 
Well, I'm gonna come out faster than that. <laughs> you might be galloping, but I'm I'm ready to come out the gate. I'm ready to come out this gate and and hit this thing running. There you go. Now that I feel better, now that I'm not sick per se, mm -hmm. um, three videos, three videos a week. Three a week. And if tomorrow, changing the subject just a little bit, we put a for sale sign on this home tomorrow, you guys are going to be able to see that. Yeah, and we will, I tell you what, let's do this. We're not going to tell nobody on Facebook. We're not going to tell anybody that we know. We're going to make a video just of that if it happens. Mm -hmm. And you who watch this will be the first ones to know. Yes. That's how dedicated we are. Them, yeah. Now, if all of our family here is watching our video right now and hearing all this, I guess you'll need to tune in, right? Right. Right, okay. And you know what? Talking about family, mm -hmm. we have how many subscribers now? <clears throat> I think we have like... Just a, a modest Just 29. 30? I thought it was 30. Anyway. 29. I'm pretty sure I have more than 30 relatives. Yeah. Right? I think we have a lot of Facebook friends, too. Yeah. But, um, you know, YouTube's not for everybody, you know? <laughs> I, I understand that. Everyone's reading, instead of reading 200 books, they're reading Facebook. That's what they're doing. Mm. Uh, but hopefully we can get a couple of y'all to support us. And uh, But more importantly, there's a lot of people on this planet um, that are watching this and they are watching this by our views and yeah. we we can see where they're coming from and yeah. so we're very very grateful for all of you who are watching who are supporting us from a distance who are getting involved um, subscribing to us um, liking different things like that so thank you for all of you because you're the ones who are actually going to make up the base of this channel in time. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you all are important to us. And we really do appreciate from the bombs of our hearts. Um, we're just real people. And um, we're being honest here about what our intentions are and what we're doing. And we got nothing to hide with that. We just want to have fun with these videos and that's what we're going to do. Yeah. And... Uh, there you go. I think we better just, we better like end this thing because people are gonna start falling asleep. Get ready for us, 2019. <laughs> All right, so subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, mm -hmm. uh, become one of our future patrons here real quick, and check us out on Instagram. And what else? Yeah, that sums it all up. We are out. Bye, guys. See ya.